Happy day, crystal souls! Hope you're doing amazing. For today's pick a card, I'm going to be talking about your future love, and you'll have to open one door especially for you. If you're looking for personal guidance, you can find all the information down below to book a reading with me. And if you're new here, you can subscribe down below and join our beautiful family. I'm also on Instagram and on TikTok, I'm posting some readings, so if you want to follow me out there, that would be cool. Alright, it is time to start your reading, so let's do it. So here is pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. When you are ready, you can find a timestamp in the comments down below. During this reading, I'm going to be using different techniques like charms, stickers, the dice, messages, and also the cards, of course. And if you are interested, by the way, you can get early access on my next reading. You have all the information down below. So now if you need to pause the video and meditate, please do so. So the door number one, let's see what is coming for your future when it comes to love. So first we have the page of swords. So that's someone who's very curious, very passionate in a relationship. And I'm seeing this person coming your way and offering you an opportunity when it comes to love. This is a person who may be mysterious for some people because you cannot see the eyes. So that can be this person watching you from the distance, not really making a move right now, but maybe that will change. With the fire and the golden you know, golden fire going on here in the branch, I'm seeing a person who is grounded, but not also afraid to dream big and to reach for something higher. With a golden color, I'm seeing a person who is going to be valuable and who is going to be rich with, you know, experiences, who may actually explore a lot, discover a lot. They're curious, remember, so they want to be getting to know you or getting to know everything about what you like, what you dislike, what you enjoy, what what are your passions. And if they vibe with you and connect with you, they will just confess to you because I feel like they are just starting to get to know you and they're really going to take their time to discover everything before making a move. The next one is a three of cups. <laughs> well, that's definitely the vibe because, you know, I talked about getting to know you and not rushing into this relationship. And this card is about friendship, celebration, coming together. So, of course, this is a link with a cord you will be creating. You will have to straighten that bond to actually reach this person. So, in my opinion, this is not a person who is going to be fully in from the first second. They really want to get to know you. So, this is air sign water sign so that can be some indication with this person sign but definitely um um desire to come together to celebrate together to get to know each other and to have fun so this can be starting as a friendship in the very beginning and then evolving into a loving relationship but with the water being in motion here i feel like this is a person that's going to be very interested to get to know you and to enter your circle or this can also be your interest to get to know the person and sharing it's like all the cups coming together and cheering each other up so in my opinion that's going to be the energy of the person you are attracting passionate emotionally available as well and wanting to bond and connect with you so this is going to be a commitment they are wanting and desiring in a relationship the three is about evolution as well so expect the growth to manifest in this relationship the next one, the Ace of Swords. So again, air energy. So this can be an air sign or just with a lot of air in their chart. Right away, I'm seeing the M appearing. So that can also be a letter, a name. Um, this can also be a place, an X, X, M, and R. So maybe that's related for you guys. So I love that we can see three roses as well. Maybe there is a friend who is going to play that role of the bridge between you two so you can encounter. Because, you know, I'm seeing friendship and three cups. So this can be telling you there is someone who may be presenting you this person or make you aware that there's someone watching you from the distance or there's someone, you know, always here supporting you and cheering yourself up because that's the vibe here. So, I don't know, maybe that's... That's the message for you guys. But this is a new beginning, a passionate new beginning. And this is also offering you clarity. I feel if you've been feeling drained or if you feel, I don't know, a bit sad these days or lonely especially, they will be here to support you. They will be here to make you feel good because they want to reactivate or reanimate the flame within yourself so you can feel good. With this, I'm seeing peace as a symbolic. They want peace. The sword can be about truth, 
So they're searching the truth or something true they can trust in a relationship. They want a person who is going to be authentic and true. That's what they're looking for. With the roses, it's about romance. And with everything growing just beneath. I feel like that's about growing love together and searching for their true counterpart. They are not looking for someone who's not going to be connecting with their soul or connecting with who they are. They really want someone who can understand them and enjoy the same thing when it comes to life. And again, we have the ace appearing, the ace of cups with this one. So that's a new relationship, something beautiful and passionate. Lovebirds coming together, wanting to, you know, cuddle and have a good time together. The cup is highly full here. So that means this person has enough to give. This is a person you have been waiting for. Honestly, I feel like with a cup and water being the reflection, I feel this is a person who is going to be reflecting everything you are wanting to manifest in a person. So anything you admire and value, this is what you will get with this person. So welcome this one. I feel like this is a person that's going to enter your life pretty soon. They are ready to be with you. With the brush and the comb appearing, that could also be a symbolic. Uh, for me, that can be someone who is always looking good, always have their hair done beautifully. Just a person that's very charming but definitely a lot of passion. Um, this is a person who's going to be very emotional or emotionally available here. With the curtains, I'm seeing this as a revelation. So this could be starting now to reveal like how they feel about yourself. And I feel like you are already connecting with this person or bonding or that will happen very soon because this connection is already pretty intense here with the energy. So I believe that may be already started. The return. I mean, <laughs> I talked about maybe a person that is in your life or used to be in your life. This can be the case for some people. I'm not really seeing an ex. I feel like this is more a friend coming back to you and actually opening up because they feel like they have romantic feelings towards you. But they were waiting for the right moment to return or to come to you. Because with the, the, the hourglass here, I feel like that's them understanding, okay, I only can enter in this person's life when this person is going to be available and wanting to welcome me. So that's why they really understand, okay, I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to take my time when it comes to this relationship because I want the best for this person and the best for myself. So I know when to start this new beginning. With the two aces, they know clearly in their mind and in their heart like what they want. And of course, they're going to return when you feel ready. And I believe if you're watching this video, you are, so be open to receive. Yes, the luck. I don't know, I feel like maybe you used to be pushing this person away or maybe you felt a bit like you were not available for this relationship or maybe they were not available. So that is just presenting you, okay? The locket is ready to open up. And with the two wings here, I feel like your guides and spirits are helping you to actually start this new relationship because this is a relationship that is going to benefit the both of you. So of course, you need some openness and they need to be open to receive. And funny enough, I was using the key today. So it's, <laughs> I feel like with the door opening up and the key, it was so related. And then we have the luck just for you guys. So expect it to happen. And, you know, it all starts from you. If you really want this to manifest, then this will manifest. But you have to be hoping to receive it. For any type of miracles in your life, you really have to be hoping to receive. So the next cards are going to be couple cards, but also messages. <laughs> so the first one, let's grow together. So this can be a message from this person telling you, you know what, I really want to be with you, I really want to be growing with you. With the two pots and the flowers, I'm seeing this as an investment. They want to invest their time with you. They want to be growing together with you. Okay, so if this is the right person, if you vibe with this person, I'm seeing 1111, so that may be a wish of you to be growing with maybe a friend or someone who is around you and who is really uh, easy to connect with especially. So that is telling you, okay, give this person a chance and see where this leads you. 
rest on me. So it's definitely a person you can trust, a person you can you lie to because they're gonna be here and they, they're going to feel comfortable around you as well because they're closing their eyes together. So that means, yes, you can trust the person, but they also feel comfortable and good around yourself because they know that, you know, if they have to express something that's difficult, you're going to be the listener. And if you have someone to talk to, if you feel like not really good these days, then they're going to be here listening. So this is not a person that's going to always talk about themselves or, you know, or only focus on their own reality and what they are experience. They're really going to be interested to get to know you, like truly asking you questions, asking you how you feel. And if you don't feel good, they are going to be here to listen to you and be attentive. So the next ones are going to be places. I wanted to use this new deck because I thought this was actually very, very cool to use this one to know like where you're going to be dating or meeting or maybe a place that's important or symbolic for you guys. So the first one is a coffee tea place. Well, this can be a home as well. A cozy, a cozy house, especially. Mm, and with all the plants again appearing, I feel like that's related to maybe you two wanting to grow together as a symbolic, but this can also be related to you two loving nature and loving to be around nature. That's the vibe. The next one so that's a store especially a cooking store or this can be like a bakery or something like that because you can see the cakes cupcakes appearing uh, a cup of tea and a cake and ice cream so this can also be tastes like for example this can be a person that's really liking sugar or just cakes and sweets like that so everything can be very symbolic so it's speaking to you directly. Okay, and going back to the couple cards. So, it's just a cozy time together, as you can see on the scene. Just sitting on each other or just holding this person, reading a book together. So, I feel this is also the symbolic. You'll feel comfortable to share your story with the person. You'll feel at ease. With the vinyl playing on, it can also be sharing the same taste when it comes to music. What else am I seeing? Again, the plants. And it's beautiful how these can be connecting because you can see two little pots and right there you can see them appearing. So it's like, you know, in the beginning you were nurturing your own inner garden, growing on your own, and then suddenly you meet the right person and you feel like sharing your story with the person and then suddenly you just end up living together because this is what Discord is announcing, so welcome that claim this i also love the symbolic with the sunflowers and two of them because this is a symbol of joy happiness solar energy so just something that makes you feel good i feel like when being around a person you'll feel energized and rejuvenated the next one and look at this <laughs> protecting you is running towards you to reach you, to protect you from the rain. And the rain can be a symbolic as well, like how you feel, um, if you feel emotionally, like what have we talked about? Emotionally drained or maybe lonely or just feeling like I don't really have someone to talk to these days, then they are going to be here presented in your life to accompany yourself and to be here for you. Or you can be playing this person. It all depends on the perspective. Okay, so I'm going to be now using these two dice because I want to know the big symbol connected to this relationship. So the numbers are going to be very specific. Let's see. So we have four and three. Three, and we talked about this with the three of cups. Three is about evolution, growth. So that is going to be the symbolic of this relationship. And four is about commitment, building something strong that will be an, an asset or some good investment for the future. And we talked about this. Someone wants commitment. Someone wants something that's going to be stable, that will last in time. So this is what you are attracting when it comes to love. So continuing with the message, so maybe what they want to say to you or your guides. Okay, I'm saying I'm capable. Maybe when the time is right, you will find me again. I, I mean, we have the return. I talked about the timing and this is so connected. 
So reaching out again when the timing is going to be right for you guys. Okay, so let's see. Maybe one more. Today is such a special day. It's a time to celebrate. Hope everything goes well for you. And it's smashing great. <laughs> I love that. They're very cheerful as you can as you can see. Like with the energy. I just love that. It's special and pure. Alright, so I'm going to be using now the different techniques, so the charms and stickers. So we can get more info. So let's use this script and the charms first. I also have some new charms. So hopefully we can get some. Okay, so we have Y, idea, the crayon, so that can also be a person who is creative, who is crafty especially, because you have the tools here. So that can be telling you, you have everything that you need to be in a relationship if you, you know, if you kind of push that away from you. So with the letters, kind of getting GIF, so that can be maybe sending a picture. Or, of course, this can be like places or important letters connected to this person's name or where this person lives, for example. So, I'm seeing the angel supporting that union with the angel and especially this one because I'm seeing this as a fairy or a spirit guide kind of watching over the moon and seeing if everything is going to be okay with you and guiding you towards what's best. And I'm seeing growth, but the flower can also be a symbol of confession. Mm, this can be Eastern season with the rabbit and the egg. This can also be presenting you a new beginning very fast. Because the egg is for me about birth, giving birth. And with the rabbit, it's about speed. So that can be something manifesting as a new beginning in a relationship that's going to be starting fast. So you have all the tools and more than enough to be in that relationship. The crayons can be related to a person who is going to be very crafty, very... Like with brilliant ideas, because, you know, with idea and connected to the crayons, I feel like that's someone who is going to be very inspired. Maybe you're asking yourself why this is not actually manifesting or why am I not attracting the right, the right person? This could be telling you, you know what, this is coming, be patient. You'll see that result. Trust your guides, trust your angels, because they're guiding you towards the right person right now. So let's conclude the reading now with the stickers. So let's see what's coming for you in love. The boba. So this can be a drink you to enjoy or maybe going, going on a date drinking boba. So we have path, I think of you, okay, okay, well, <laughs> that's good, and self-care, okay, I feel like that's, that's also what you need with self-care, like taking care of yourself, we have forgive, yeah, if this is a person from the past, if you feel like they did something wrong to you, because that's also the vibe I'm getting here, you know, maybe that's okay and you can move on from this, because I don't know, I feel like they are hesitant of coming back to you. Because they may feel like, you know, I I did something that I was not supposed to do and maybe you were mad at this person. But I feel like this is time for you to write a new story. Okay, so I'll show you in a sec what's there. So writing a new story, they may want to get to know if you are okay, hesitant to come back to you, like... They really don't know how to maybe um, address the past situation between you two, if that's the case. If not, they may just be shy to connect with you because you may be so 
beautiful or impressive. So I don't know. I feel like they're just going to take their time and find courage before coming to you. But they are thinking of you. They really want to be with you, kiss you, sleep next to you, celebrate with you. Because this is about celebration here. Or just celebrating this person coming your way. They look elegant and sharp. With the peace signs appearing here on these two, um, I feel this is also a person who's going to be very, very fun to be around. But yeah, I feel something happened in the past that used to be difficult for you to accept that or difficult for them to accept it. Because it all depends on the perspective. On top of the roof reminds me of a person that's successful and you can see they are shining. They really want to be connecting with you as you can see they're i feel like they're trying to slowly get to like get to know you or maybe to come back to you but it's still in the process so with the messages to make each day count of all the jean joints in all the towns in all the world she walks into mind from casablanca so that can be a movie you like um but this can also be a person that's going to walk into your universe or you will be the person that's going to introduce yourself to this person. You can be a dancer or into the art or they can be interested about this because these can be hints. So this is all I'm seeing here for you. Oh, wait a second. No, I thought there was something behind, but no. So this is all for you guys. I hope you like this reading. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, if you find it accurate, and if you're excited for this person coming your way. I will see you on the next one. Check my other readings if you are interested. And if you're new, make sure to join our beautiful family and subscribe down below. See you on the next reading. Bye-bye. So door number two, let's see what's coming when it comes to love and your future. Okay, so first of all, we have the five of swords. Right away, I'm saying that you may have had like different people in your life, uh, past partners, or this can also be, you know, people around you. And this used to be a very difficult relationship. Now what I'm saying here for you is that if you want to welcome this new golden opportunity, so this represents this new person, you have to say goodbye to the past. And it doesn't mean that, you know, just saying goodbye and not seeing the person. You have to do the work. You have to do this inner um, healing in order for you to welcome this person. So if you still feel hurt because of a past event, if you still feel hurt because someone told you something connected to a past relationship, and if you feel like you are attracting the same type of people, kind of triggering you over and over again, that is telling you there's something to heal. There's something you need to cut from your life because you can see all the cords, right? So that's a reminder. You are still attached to something from the past that's broken or making you broken, but you need to be shining just like the sword, okay? So the moment you actually embrace what's new and what's beautiful and what's supporting what you want in love then you will manifest it but of course this will be even easier and faster if you actually heal yourself and let go of what was being taught to you because everything you experienced in the past is a lesson and this is for you to level up and to build yourself strongly so you can be shining so you can be strong, so you can be courageous to welcome something new and not to welcome a person that's, that's going to be, you know, validating what you experienced in the past or just representing the same type of person. Now it's time for the new, okay? It's time for something that's going to be fresh, rejuvenating and powerful because you are attracting this person. Why? Because you are powerful. And the moment you do that, you know, some people can be are already healed and shining and ready for this relationship but i feel like if this card popped it's because some of you guys are still in the process of healing and this is encouraging yourself to keep going because the moment you do so this is what is going to allow you to meet the one that's going to be just like you powerful and available to be in a relationship they want something strong and beautiful and you'll get it trust me because i mean as you can see, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is related to the happy family. So this is what you are going to be building with this person. I'm seeing an elephant on the pedestal. So that's a pedestal of gold, 
bricks. So it's not just a pedestal, it's something higher and more valuable. So it's telling you when you process that, when you work on yourself, and when you feel like I'm shining, I'm free, I'm beautiful, this is what is going to allow you to manifest this relationship and the same person you attract to your mirror, remember? And you are attracting someone who is beautiful, valuable, who has enough to offer, who is wanting commitment. This could be someone in your circle, so that can be a soul circle or your circle a friend, for example, or a circle at work, at school, because I feel this is a person who is connecting with you at the moment or connected to you from past lives or future lives. So definitely soulmate vibes or someone from your soul family. With the, um, the trees appearing, I'm seeing growth. So that can be material growth because honestly with coins, the pentacles, um, and with the brights being gold, that shows me this person is experiencing abundance, is living in abundance. And trust me, even the elephant is a symbol of fortune, wisdom. So that's the type of person you are attracting at the moment. If you felt a bit stuck and also with your career or with the flow of abundance, this can also be telling you you will be reaching that point and you will manifest a person that's going to be on the same spot. So very successful and very abundant. They are wanting the best here. And with the white elephant, I'm seeing this as purity. So they want something pure and strong. And look at this. This group is magical, powerful and beautiful. So the Stein lovers with the lovers. So you are attracting someone you are connected to. Like there's no doubt here. That's what I saw here. And this is what I'm seeing here with, you know, the cords, the ties, especially red ones. This is all about destiny. This is fated to happen. There's balance in this relationship with the triangle pointing up and pointing down. That means this duality, which will be in this relationship presented, is going to bring everything that you two need to be growing and to find balance and excitement and to discover even the hidden parts of yourself. The sun is shining and the moon is in the middle. I really love this symbol because this is all about divine, like the divine masculine becoming one with the divine feminine or the masculine wanting to connect and bond with the feminine here. But there is definitely destiny here, fate. It's like two lovers that are meant to be together and you cannot resist it or rewrite a story. Because this is meant to be. And with the red color, it's about passion as well. So expect a strong, passionate relationship. And look, this is what is presented as well on this card. Something strong, passionate. When, by the way, with the energy. So pentacles, this is earth sign. This is Gemini for the lovers. And air sign. As for this one, this is cancer. So maybe that's some hint, you know, if you pick this group, if you are a Cancer, for example, that can be like, okay, that's for me. Um, but this is about triumph, victory, feeling so connected to this person that you want to give your everything to this person. But I'm also seeing this as making a move towards the person because the chariot is in motion, you know, with the two animals, they are leading the way. So it can be telling you to maybe be the one that is connecting with this person if you feel there's something there's a connection i cannot i cannot ignore it that's so intense and if that's the case please do that because that is going to be creating the introduction with that relationship but this is a person especially if like the divine masculine or masculine is going to be very protective but also this this may be a very strong figure a leader someone who is actually on the pedestal or putting themselves on the pedestal but i feel like the feminine is just the same but she's more kind and seductive and beautiful honestly i'm seeing a power couple here and that's why you two are going to be creating a very beautiful and deep relationship this connection is beyond what you experienced before. This is for sure, because I feel like that's something that's going to transcend your soul, that's going to redefine your world and you know shake your perspective and make you see the world through another lens. And that's why I'm seeing an, an inspiring figure. 
entering your life and just wanting to grow with you and to explore with you. So expect making a move or them making a move towards you with a chariot. They're going to be fully invested in this relationship and they see you. They are not ignoring yourself. Maybe there is not like two people facing each other on this card, but I feel like this will be starting maybe as maybe them not seeing you and then suddenly you appear and they're like, okay, that's the one. I'm not going to question it because I feel it. And look, there is love on this card. So it's obvious for me that you two are meant to be with each other. With the angels, I'm seeing this, the angels, the wings, I'm seeing this as support from your angels. This is the sign to happen. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> it's what I talked about. So that is just a confirmation that you two are meant to be and you cannot resist it. With the crown, I'm seeing two people who are powerful and who are meant to be finding more power together. And I talked about this power couple and this is just confirming it. Wow, that's beautiful. And you can see this big star on the top and also at the bottom. So you are meant to be shining together. It can also be a collaboration. So a mission of the soul, a contract that you have together. So you can be working on something big, which is important for your soul's evolution and liberation. The fiery. So that can be a fire sign as well. And again, that's talking about a person who is very passionate with a flame here, you know, that's like a burning desire to be next to you, to be around you. With him closing his eyes, there's a part of trust. And I feel this is what you need as well. You need to trust the process. If you've been wanting to manifest a person who is so family connected to you, you have to believe the universe is working on this. You have to trust the process, trust the timing as well, because that will manifest when you two will be ready for this relationship and when you are hoping to receive that relationship. So right now, I'm still seeing this person in their own cocoon. So I'm not sure if this is you or the person. Maybe that's more for the fire sign. Maybe that's a hint um, or those who have fire in their chart, especially. So yeah, I feel like this is what is meant for you to build yourself in your own cocoon or themselves in their own cocoon so you can be ready to open your wings to love because you embody love. Remember, you attract who you are, so it's very connected. So the next ones are going to be couple cards and messages. The first one is kiss me softly. So that's what they want. They want to be cuddling with you, reading, maybe writing you can see the book right there just having a relaxing time together they're blushing as well so i feel that's brand new for you guys you may be still a bit shy a bit hesitant or this will be starting this way and then you'll just feel comfortable around each other i'm glad you are here yes there is some introduction i feel this person is coming your way so you'll be glad or they will be glad that you finally entered their life or welcomed them. So the next ones are going to be places. So these can be important places or the symbolic um, can be talking to you directly. Cafe area inside. And they sell apples, peaches and lemons. So that's a fruit shop. So that can be something juicy and tasty, flavory, anything that's good. There's also summer vibe here, like when the fruits are growing up. And with the chair, I feel like this is a person who is waiting for your venue, or you may be the one waiting for them. With the clock, yes, again, that is just amplifying the fact that there is a part of like divine timing included, so you can be together. With the sign on the door, we have welcome. So they are going to be very welcoming and very happy that you came. The cactus are appearing. So cactus are related to adaptability, like sticking to something. Um, but also I'm seeing this as defense, you know, with the spikes, they defend themselves. Mm, I mean, I'm seeing that that way. <laughs> uh, so I guess that's, that's going to be their protective side that can speak to you. 
or make you feel like I'm not sure if this person is interested but that is just because they want to feel safe and they want to be sure that you are the one and with the umbrella this one is close so there's a part of protection but still they are going to be welcoming so the next cards going back with a couple of cards so eating together especially like dinner I think this is a pizza so maybe that's your favorite meal or their favorite meal who knows but eating in the kitchen there are two cats so that can also be what no three cats yeah three so maybe that's a symbol like for me the cat is a person who is more introverted or that can be a person who is going to be very analytic a bit mysterious as well and that's the symbol of protection for me and they're matching here with the closest, so that can also be you two matching each other and being perfect for each other. And the clock is appearing again with the notes on the, the fridge. I'm kind of seeing this as maybe some attention you two make, like when you go away from home, for example, you can be leaving a note, a loving note for the person. Because, yeah, I feel maybe that's something you may enjoy or they may enjoy to do. And the next one, so two artists for this group. A painter, someone who is playing music. This can also be beyond it, of course, so that can be a dancer, performer, um, someone who is in the, in the film industry, anything, really. And with a window, I'm seeing this as perspective. So a person who is going to have a deep vision of things, like when they see something, they feel inspired. When they sense something or eat something, they feel inspired. Like that's this type of artistic and, and genius um, person that I'm getting here. And with a curtain, it can be a revelation as well. So they want to reveal themselves to you. They want to open up to you. So I'm going to be using the dice today and the numbers are going to be defining the symbolic of this relationship. So let's see. So five and three. Three is about evolution, growth. So this is what they're wanting in a relationship. And five is about creation and magic. And honestly, there is a part of magic and mystery and destiny here. So this is definitely the vibe. Okay, so let's continue with maybe messages this person is wanting to share with you or some encouragement, advice. Let's see. By doing what you love, you inspire and awaken the hearts of others. And I believe this is when you'll be in alignment with your path and purpose, that this relationship will be blooming. Because that's when you know exactly what to do and where to go, that you find people who are on the same path. You don't find love, it finds you. It's got a little bit to do with destiny, fate, and what's written in the stars. I'm telling you, I cannot make this up, like, for real. I'm excited for you guys, because that's part of all. Love you all more than you would ever know. They love you, like, for real. And I feel like that's a message from their soul, right there. Okay, so let's continue with the next techniques. I'm just going to be putting these aside. So I'm going to be using charms and stickers in this grid. So starting with the charms. <laughs> yes. And, you know, we have the sweet idea and why. And we have tools appearing here, the cup and the teapot. I mean, they, they want to serve you. They want to be here for you. They want to be connecting with you. And they can be connecting with you in dreams or in astral, in, uh, in the astral realm especially. Because this can be astral, love, and I heard evolution for this one. But of course, this can be initials uh, connected to the person. But they want to be serving you. They want to be offering yourself what you're looking for in a relationship. They may be very creative, very inspired. We talked about this. 
why can be about you know them finding a way to connect with you or they may not know why they feel attracted to you but still they, they feel this intense desire to be with you or to be around you there's a lot of magic to be honest because you can see the universe like for me this is the universe charm and same thing for this one and with a rocket that shows me that this is going to manifest pretty fast same thing with a rabbit as a symbolic so yeah i feel the moment you two are meant to be together the timing is right for you two you two are available and wanting to be in a relationship then that will manifest quickly without putting too much effort into it your angels are working on this supporting you guys this is for me telling you need to stick to it to see a result like if you are in and out in and out a relationship that won't go anywhere and with the tools that that just shows me you have everything that you need to be in a relationship but this can be telling you to keep working on your craft so you can be manifesting this person faster because i feel you may be in the same industry or have the same interests and so when you will do that for a living for example or just find confidence into what you do then that will manifest this person even faster so ending the reading with the charms now uh, not the charms the stickers i mean let's see these yeah <laughs> i'm seeing a person with like hypnotized when meeting you like they're like wow <laughs> i'm so impressed with meditation this is what we talked about encountering in you know med meditations or just seeing this person in your dream because so i feel like there's a soul connection already between you two so observe yes bye bye hug me yourself yeah, you need to be working on yourself, working on your craft, especially, so you can be meeting this person. I feel you may feel this person ignoring you or not wanting to engage with you, but they're just trying to actually connect with you and they may be sad that they are treating you this way, as you can see, because they are really impressed and inspired and attracted by you, but it's still, you know, they may doubt themselves, they may, I'm, I'm not sure, like, they, they may not be completely ready to be in a relationship so they may just observe or maybe more comfortable observing for the moment and get to know you but i feel like there is a sense i'm not sure if this is from you or the person but i'm getting this as the same vibe the same person same thing for this one so they may try to like work on what excites themselves or work on themselves so they can be available because i feel something difficult happened to them and they have to be okay before starting this relationship. I believe some may want to quit, may want to give up on this connection. It's fine, you know, you do you, you do whatever is right for you. But I still feel like that's the one. Like, if you push them away, they may come later. Because I feel like that's connected to destiny and fate. And you cannot really resist it. So meditation, you may be connecting soul to soul even without remembering that because sometimes your dreams are experiences you to have and and you may not remember them so that may be that may be what's happening and with 100 percent fresh i think yeah i think it was in this one that i saw the fruit so that can also be what is the energy with the person they are fresh they're fresh they're tasty <laughs> let's say and juicy and you just want to be with them with the okay, they may be telling you that's okay to connect with me or that's okay to come my way or I'm seeing you, I'm noticing yourself because this is especially the message here. They want to be hugging you as well. They want to be connecting with you. It's like, you know, this person is like, okay, and then suddenly you appear. I mean, as a symbol, like, of course, because that's not you, but that's people from Haikon, if you know what K-pop is. But yeah, this is the message here. They want to be with you. They are observing you. They are mesmerized about your aura and essence and energy. 
So this is what is coming your way. I hope you are excited and that you enjoyed this reading. I will see you on the next one. If you want, you can discover my other readings on this channel and subscribe down below if you are new. Take good care of you and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. So door number three, let's see what is coming for you when it comes to your future love. Okay, so right away I'm seeing a person who is wounded. A person who's going to be very in the defensive. They do not want to be hurt again. And this can be you or the person. If you feel like there's some resistance or, I don't know, you do not feel like comfortable and safe around the person, trust your guts and instant. Because the wolf is very connected to this instinct side and they really want to be feeling good feeling safe so you can be a part of their tribe so in my opinion that's telling you trust how you feel because you know better your soul is trying to communicate something to you and you only have to welcome what is going to be right for you at the moment because i feel like you've been through a lot you've been waiting for maybe the one you've been through difficult relationships rather it's romantic or not and now this is telling you if you want the best work on healing yourself so you can be only welcoming what's going to be right for you who is going to make you feel safe and secure if you meet someone who is just pressing again on past wounds, on like bringing past memories who, who are difficult, they can be a trigger for your healing, but they can also be the one that's not meant to be a romantic partner. So try to see if that feels good to be accompanied or to awaken some truth so you can be healing, or if this is a person who makes you feel very uncomfortable and attacked especially, don't take it because that's the vibe I'm getting here. So that may be a warning for you guys to only welcome what feels right. Because we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups to me is about past partners. So past life partners or people in your soul fam coming to you, connecting with you. Because there is a part of contract, a soul contract with you and a person. And that's why in order for you to feel safe... You have to welcome and manifest this person. So maybe doing some meditation, maybe working with the law of attraction and doing some manifestation work. For example, this can be scripting with the letter. This can be sending messages to the universe, to your guides, to help you to manifest this golden relationship. There's something sweet about that relationship as well. Because you can see the candies on the cups. And with the gold color, I'm seeing this as something golden. So the sweets, there's like um, a message. Too much sweets are going to make you unhealthy. But if there is balance, you can enjoy it and still feel good. So I feel like that's also related to this relationship. If you are, because <laughs> that can also be the message, if you are trying to get to know different people and wanting to date one of them, that can be telling you to only welcome who feels right for you so you can be starting something more profound and more deep because if you actually provide to so many cups so so many people you won't be able to find the one or to actually give your fool to a person and that may not go anywhere for you guys so i think that is a message that's important but there is a part of destiny with the one you you are meant to be with because you can see two cups especially um close to us so in my opinion that's you and the person and i'm especially seeing one who is very giving and the other one may be more like you know giving but still a bit careful because of the past and i feel like that's the wolf energy so if this is you then that may be who you are right there as a symbol like and if the person is just ready and open to receive and open to share in a relationship they may be this one so if you see yourself right there, please heal before welcoming this person and do not provide too much love or <laughs> dedicate your time and energy in different relationships. Try to get to know people one by one. Of course, in the beginning, you can see who is right for you. And then when you really vibe with someone, just go fully into it. Because you can see a lot of temptation. You can see, you know, people are not meant to be with you. 
and they may not be the one for you. So I feel like they're wanting just you. They're just wanting to be with you because you may look beautiful, because you may be seductive, because you are everything they desire. But desire and love are very different. And I feel like you are looking for love. I feel like you're looking for something deep and profound and beautiful. That may be a warning to not do it because you are just entertaining these connections, which can be actually negative for you. Even on the devil's card, you can see this, this woman, but two people like living within. So maybe there's a part of like the shadow aspect of you, um, this, this, I don't know, influence from the shadow self and the person who is more stable and wanting something more pure, let's say. So in my opinion, that's reminding you, what do you really want and what do you think you deserve? And the moment you know exactly what you want, you won't be coming back to it. Because I feel like maybe that's a warning, maybe that's for some of you, maybe two people here, who knows. So this card is pretty much a warning telling you to not connect with the wrong people, to not welcome too much connections because otherwise you may be lost in them. So in order for you to find freedom and to find the right person, you need to listen to your inner voice, which is why you are seeing her like being shh, like don't tell my secrets. But I feel like this can also be talking about a person who is actually playing that role. Uh, so entertaining different connections and you may just be one options of all the options they are seeing in front of them. So only welcome what feels right if you feel like you are not safe around the person. If you feel like you have to prove yourself and defend yourself then that's the wolf energy and you don't want to be there. You want someone who makes you feel safe and secure and who is seeing you and only you. Because look, we have the high priestess. So this is a person who is understanding destiny and fate. She knows there's someone waiting for her that's meant to be in her life. She holds the keys. And I love that this is actually what this topic is about because the door and you have the keys here. So open up to it. Welcome this love. But also learn about the person because we have the book. The book is about destiny, your chapters, your life. And what do you want to write right now in your story when it comes to love? Maybe try to do some manifestation technique so you can be manifesting this person. But there's a part of fate here and this is meant to be happening. Um, with the fruits on the background, I think these are figs, I believe. I don't know. But I'm seeing this as nurturing. You need to welcome a nurturing relationship. You need to be growing with a person who is going to be exciting for you, tasty and juicy. So I feel like, yes, you are looking for something that may be connected to like desire and temptation and want to be connecting like maybe physically with a person. But if this is the only thing that you can find in that connection, do you really want to entertain this one when you can be manifesting a relationship was going to be more fulfilling for your soul? Because with the High Priestess, that's to remind yourself you are a divine being and you can manifest anyone you desire in this life. So is this person or that connection you entertain or will welcome right for you and enough for yourself? and your soul's evolution in ascension. So I guess this is a time of questioning things, um, taking new directions, healing yourself, and noticing if this is the right relationship and connection you are entertaining right now, and if this is nurturing for you, because you have to be provided something back as well. The rain. So the rain is about purification. Only welcome what's going to be pure. Only welcome what's going to allow you to feel nourished and rejuvenated. It's holding the, the drop right here. So in my opinion, that's related to like holding what's best for you. Water is a symbol of life. And I feel this person that's meant to be in your life is going to bring you this life force, this energy, this pure vibe or pure connection and with a drop on the third eye i'm also seeing this as clear vision you can be someone who is interested in divination or a clairvoyant 
because that can be a hint here and with the high priestess i wouldn't be surprised to be honest so this can be a person who is seeing you like within their soul or within their dreams because they have a clear perspective on what is meant to come next and who is meant to come next especially so the rain is just offering you that clarity and purification the silent so it can be a person who is silent right now but i feel this is going to improve your communication with this person is not meant to be silent it's not meant to be like that so I feel they will be opening up to you and they will want to open up to you. They're still protecting themselves because the way she is, like the gestural with the hands, I feel like that's some protection, even covering their mouth. I feel <laughs> that may be related to them being afraid to say something wrong, so they may just be silent. So that can be your energy or this person's energy, but that will be improving. It's not meant to be this way. So the next cards are going to be couple cards. So the first one, secrets. Again, I feel like we're silent. <laughs> and this one is like shh. And this one is like pew, 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 pew. So I don't know. I feel there's something that's not meant to be said right now. Um, but this will be delivered later because they will feel comfortable to share their secrets with you. And that can be like how they feel, for example. A confession confession about their past or about their feelings because this is especially what i'm getting here and she's blushing so in my opinion that's more about how they feel towards you my precious love okay and they may be connecting with you especially um around christmas because you can see the hats so that can also be a hint during the season when it's supposed to happen well that can also be coming together especially at that time when you can celebrate together as family. So with these ones, these can be places where you'll be meeting or that can be the symbolic. For example, we had Christmas season and the jewelry. So that can be buying you a gift that's expensive or that's valuable, um, a jewel necklace anything like this and funny enough you can see the christmas tree i'm just noticing it like right there i don't know but i feel that may connected because you know it's kind of magical and with the diamond here they see you as someone with precious with a lot of value and a lot to give toy store good gift again you can see the presents i mean it's crazy uh so maybe feeling like a child together buying each other's gift for christmas because you'll just feel like giving you'll, you'll just feel good to buy things for the special person and we have precious the diamond appearing and gift so that can also be the symbolic of this person feeling like this person is a gift in my in my life. I feel so happy and grateful that I have this person next to me, supporting me and growing with me. But you can also have children or that can be announcing your future together. So if you want to build a family, if you don't want children, that's fine. That can just be telling you creating and building a family together and just feeling good, just the two of you. So more couple cards cooking together in the morning especially so waking up next to each other connecting with the clock i'm seeing this as timing it like this person will come only when being ready only when not you know being so defensive or pushing people away because you may not be ready or because you may be too wounded to welcome a person so that's telling you to work on this, so this can manifest. But this is all about you two living together, waking up <laughs> in your PJs and eating breakfast. It can also be a long distance relationship from this image I'm seeing here. And with the message in Korean, it's written, I miss you. So you can be missing this person, calling each other, connecting this way from the distance. And they all each other's hands on this one. It's very beautiful. There's also a sense of comfort when receiving a call from this person. I feel like you'll feel 
like more comforted, um, supported, especially in your life and with what you experience. And you can trust the person to open up truly. Okay, so I'm going to be continuing with the next techniques. So first, I'm going to be using the dice and the numbers that will pop out will be the symbolic of this relationship. So let's see. So we have one and, f and five. So one is about new beginning. So I guess this is about building something together and funny enough, the one is a castle. Hogwarts castle. So it's about build, building something together, building your own empire. And five is about magic and creation. So it's very connected. Only welcome your king or your queen here. And you saw, you know, the, the crown on top of the devil card is fragmented. So that's not a whole. This person is not going to be able to provide you what you're looking for when it comes to your king or queen. Only welcome someone who is going to be embodying this one fully. So let's continue with the messages. Make it happen, shock everyone. Okay. So it could be that this relationship is something people around you did not believe in. They were maybe judging it um, because this person is important, this person is special. Trust yourself, you know more than what you think you do. You know more than what you think you do. Trust your soul. I'm worthy of happiness and love. These can be affirmations, you can repeat every day. Eye contact and lip bite. Butterflies rising. I love this. What a plot twist you were. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny and I don't know, it's just beautiful with a symbol like. So I'm gonna be using the last techniques for the charms and stickers. So this way we can get more info. Okay, so starting with the charms. Oh, we have bun. So that can also be bunny. We have K, Z. So these can be places, yeah, this is a person who is abundant, I'm seeing teamwork, success that's sticking to them. So that can be you or the person, but I'm seeing a person who is doing well with their career, they're doing well with what they're meant to be doing, to be honest, because with the fairy being here, I'm seeing this as spirit guides coming, supporting what you do. With the little cloud smiling, this is a person who is a dreamer. And the cat is observant. They want to feel safe and protected. So that can be this person's energy. So let's move on with the stickers. Yeah, definitely long distance relationship. Because we have the airplane right here. <laughs> this one's sleeping. So that can be like talking to each other before going to sleep. That's what came out right away. Look, we have the diamonds again. I cannot make this up. This is so crazy and beautiful. Um, so a system crash has occurred. The computer will restart now. So it could be that you feel like there's a glitch in that connection, like something it's still a bit mysterious and you cannot really explain it. And you may actually feel like, okay, I have to try again and try again and try again so I can get what I want, like open the right window on your computer, for example. If you also feel when talking to the person and vibing and connecting or being in the same room together, the electricity or computers are going crazy, that can be telling you that's because you two are that powerful that you affect the energy around. Um, but yeah, maybe that's also um, a hint telling you you may connect on the internet from the distance with this person. 
You are one in a million, one in a million. <sighs> and they are abundant. They are going to be providing you everything you are looking for with all the diamonds. And that's something juicy and tasty. With a book and the pen, um, getting that, maybe maybe a person who is an artist or a writer, or that's telling you to write a new story connected to this relationship. With the shadow, that can be telling you they are just showing up subtly and connecting with you subtly, but one day you'll see that result and just see them appear in front of you. And this is a um, like, thumbs up so that maybe them supporting you, congratulating yourself, being happy that you are connecting with them or doing well in life. And this is about blooming. And there's a part of mystery as well with the colors. So this is all I'm seeing here. I hope you like this fitting. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I'm seeing one, 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 one. So many ones here. So that's a new beginning coming for you. If you want, you can check my other readings. I have love and general readings. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe down below and join our beautiful family. I will see you next time.